All right, guys. Cyber Hobo here. Now, everyone tore me up a little bit when I posted what's wrong with prostitution. Now, I wasn't trying to defend it in any way. You know, we're looking at the the moral implications uh, more so than you know. I look at it like it. You know, if a woman wants to give it up and a man wants to buy it, I don't personally see anything wrong with that. I think it should be legal. But I got a lot of little comments, you know, and it ripped me up, you know, oh, you're immoral, you're this, you're that. Okay. It's not what I intended, but hey, you know, that's probably what I meant. Um, got a lot of backlash. Um, it is being unfaithful when you're married, and I'll agree with that, you know. It's between a man and a woman, and it is son. Un, it's adultery, you know, it's unfaithful to your wife. It's not fair. But, you know, if your wife's not giving up anything and, you know, sexually satisfying you, and I'm not talking just, oh, I only get it once a month or I only get it once every six months. You know, it's, it's you know, you're just not satisfied. Now, whether it's a woman or man, I mean, this goes either way. So I, I think it's part of a marriage that you keep you know each other satisfied sexually. Um, you know it's the way it is. So you know if if you're not getting enough you know sex and you're not giving her you know enough sex, then uh, you know what are you going to do? I mean that's the bottom line. What are you going to do? You're going to remain frustrated, upset, you know, irritable, mean. You know the people I'm talking about, don't you? You know, or you can uh, masturbate. And sometimes that works and relieves sexual tension. Uh, but it's, you know, it's just not the same, you know, as that intimate, you know, sex. So, but, I mean, it may relieve, you know, temporarily. It may work for a while, but, you know, that's only, you know, for a temporary solution, I believe. Um, the other thing is, um, you could find a girlfriend on the side, you know, but now what you have to worry about is that develop again into some type of relationship and then you're falling in love and, you know, leaving your wife and destroying the whole family. I don't think that's a good idea. You could go find a prostitute. Now, you pay X amount of dollars, you know, for whatever device you want, whether it's a blow job or, you know, vaginal, um, and you're happy. You give her money, she gives you sex, you know, you lose your load and you're happy as hell. You go home with your wife, you're happy again, the relationship's good, everything's perfect. All right, so anyway, to me, when you can find a prostitute and you arrange everything like that, where it's just a simple, you know, basically it's a wham bam, thank you ma'am, or wham bam, thank you dude, I'm out of here, you know, it's a, it's satisfies both men and women. You know, if a woman needs a, you know, little hard one, there you go. And if a man needs a little fur, there he goes. And everyone's happy. Um, you know, then of course you can go, you know, for a while longer and, you know, see if the situation gets better. If not, you know, go again. Now, to me, that seems like the most logical way instead of being frustrated and you know sexually unsatisfied and irritable all the time um, you know again masturbation will only go so long um, you could try it for a while and hopefully it works for you if not you know what else are you going to do um, if you get in a relationship then it's really going to hurt your marriage and destroy everybody um, so to me prostitution is a lot better of an answer so anyway that's my viewpoint it's only my viewpoint it's no one else's so, you know, don't start sending me letters and saying you're evil and a monster and uh, full of shit and all this because um, I know I am. So, anyway, Cyber Hobo here. Y'all take it easy and see you down the road.